happy Mother's Day to all my subscribers that um that uh, that you know buy into the one day. Every day is Mother's Day, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I think a lot of y'all live y'all lives like that. So, but let's just acknowledge that today is Mother's Day. Um, and there's a lot of y'all that's missing y'all mothers this holiday. Um, so my condolences to you. And, um, yeah. Hope you uh, can get past what you're missing at this point. Um, and that is the ability to just, you know, talk to your mom. So, I, And I know how that is. Because while I have a mom that is here, she's not here. So those things are very important. And I want to, again, wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. So, now with that being said, I, I'm I'm tripping because I gotta share something with y'all that I've never, you know, there ain't too many stories blow my mind. I've I've heard all kinds of crazy stuff, especially when it come to drugs, and alcohol, and show business, and and things like that. You know, I, there ain't too many things you know shock me. I I've heard stories about um, you know, people. Getting high, and when one of them drop down, the other one pick the pipe up and keep smoking it, or clean up and everything while they friend there on the ground suffering. All kinds of crazy stuff. But this one right here, it took the cake. So. This young lady told me that she's going through a hard time this Mother's Day because her mother, this is the first day, first year, her mother has been gone for Mother's Day. And so I said, oh, I hadn't heard from her in a while. I was like, oh, I didn't, your mama passed? She says, yeah, um, thought I told you. So I was kind of shocked about that in itself that the mother had passed away. But then when I found out how she passed away and what transpired, my heart just bled for them. Um, because this is a family who have gone through a lot of um, hardships. And I believe I had one of their children inside of my group home at one time. Um, well, nevertheless... This is what happened to her mother. Her mother was sleeping. Okay? And her boyfriend, who, of course, um, she cared more about him than she cared about herself, from what I understand, the way the daughter described it. She kept him suited and booted, but she didn't dress herself. So it was one of them kind of relationships. And then... It was one of those relationships where she had a whole lot of health issues, so the doctor gave her a lot of medicine that he was selling. Okay, so that didn't surprise me because I heard about that before. Um, some of them people that were selling those pills, before they had to figure out something to do, they was making more money selling their prescriptions than they were getting their disability or their social security check. Now think about that. So they were going to the doctor to get these pills. And the, this is the hustle. Because in America, everything is a hustle. This country is a big hustle. And so for y'all to sit back and sneer down on y'all noses and look at people like they do, everybody doing it. Everybody doing something crazy in America. Some kind of hustle, okay, or being hustled. That's the only way it go here. Either you hustling something or somebody hustling you. Anyway, back to this story. The mother was sleeping and her boyfriend 
got out of bed, and I guess he tried to wake her up, and she didn't wake up. This is on a Tuesday. So, by Friday, he had decided he was going to go down to the neighbor's house and tell them that he couldn't wake her up. All the while, he was looking for her pills and all the other pills and stuff that he could find in the house so he could sell them. Happy fucking Mother's Day. Who does that? This woman has got kids. Although they're adults. What made her. Not love herself enough to know that she was sleeping and laying up there with the enemy. That would step over her body and get her drugs. While she's laying there dead. And it's Friday when the paramedic came and disco discovered her. I can't make this up. I can't make it up. You know, if y'all got some people in your family that's still battling them demons like that, um, your job is to remove yourself away from them Keep showing them the way to get off. Keep encouraging them to get off. But do not let them be inside of your house and a part of your uh, uh, close infrastructure. Otherwise, they'll destroy everything around it. And you too. Okay? And you too. So with that being said, think about all the people that you know and all the crazy story that you've heard. Have you heard of anything that's so crazy? I mean, just think about that. Uh, it's insane. That you could be so removed from reality. So removed from reality. Oh, God. And your dope addiction is so bad that you would let your woman lay up in the house. Who's it went? For two and a half days before you get some help. She's stiff as a damn board. I'm done. I want to know what y'all think about this. As y'all. You know, ain't no telling. This is the mental house. Some of y'all done heard crazier stories. I don't know. Leave your comment below. And let me know what you think. Okay. If. Listen. If you like what you hear. Subscribe and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.